brightest blessings this is raven and today i have some extra special helpers so i've got my eldest and i've got my youngest wiggly wiggle say hello What's up? because we're going to do some bubble painting today so eldest can go first which color do you want or you can pick two colours to do at a time. We'll go with um, green. Green. So something a little bit different mm -hmm. today. And this is quite easy to do, guys. Somewhat fun to do with the kids as well. So here's the green. There's a straw. So you need to blow into that until the bubbles are large, okay? Come on then, you can reach. Come on. Yeah, so maybe blow a little bit more bit lower down. That's it. And the point of this is that it's nice and subtle, so we don't want anything massive. Do you want a different colour or keep on with the green? Um, I'm going to blue that. And you can do this with paint, but I've chosen to do this with Indian inks, as that's what I normally dye my papers with. Off you go then. It. That was a lot better, wasn't it? Yeah. So keep going then. So it's the first week of the summer holidays here in the UK, which means the kids are finally it's good because school's over. Yeah, keep going with the blue. And I quite like having the, the lines and things on as well. It gives it some interest. That's it. I might put some more ink in there. Uh -huh. If I can reach it. No, that's black. I don't want black. Let's put some blue in. So this is the brand that I use. They're on um, Amazon, quite cheap some extra ink and all it is is ink and water with a little bit of fairy liquid come on then give it a good blow and we'll see if we can get it not even darker that's it well, that was very dark there you go see it just needed a bit yeah, more ink cool. in. go on then blow it again Yeah. Yeah, for this there we go, right. Little's turn, what colour do you want? Um, red. Red. Let's just wipe up the splatters. Yeah, so pick a straw. That's it. Put the straw in. And give it a good blow. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that's it. Plop. Look at that. It's even caught the bubbles. Go on then, a few more. This is like what's going on. The dog is good for. I quite like doing this in big pans as well but I haven't got any pans at the moment. Keep going then and we'll finish this side of the page. Drag it across like that. Bubbles. Much bubbles. Do you want to stick with red or a different colour now? 
Do you want a different colour on this side or on the other side? Um, on the same side. What colour? I think orange would look quite nice. Yeah, because orange goes well with red. Yeah, orange. Now then, give it a good blow. Get all coloured bubbles in. So you can see now we're getting some really interesting effects. Keep going. And it's not as pigmented as the the blue and the green is about, since it's a bit yeah, I've, dark, I've it used, used quite a lot of water because I didn't want it to be too pigmented. I wanted it to be a background. A few more. <laughs> so then really once really these are dry, they can be folded and put into journals then, you see, or used in collages and things. Right, what do you want to do on this side? More of the same colours? Um, I think green. Green. Yeah. We'll have to put some more ink in that one as well, I think. Yeah, because it didn't really show up. Mm -hmm. I think it was about five or six pounds for the whole set so that's not too bad price wise go on then give it a good blow oh, that come out a bit better didn't it this is more of a teal i would say than a green but keep going just because oh there's a lot of bubbles <coughs> you and if you do it relatively gently the bubbles stay for quite a while keep going then So a bit of a hectic video guys I'm afraid but the girls wanted to be involved today so there we go another colour um, blue. blue I thought you were gonna say blue mm. Go on then. doesn't matter if it splashes we've got wipes and there's also two massive cutting pins for the craft pins whoa mm -hmm. that looks a little bit of a mine there we go how pretty is that it almost looks a bit marbly doesn't it yeah. so just dab the that's it it's yeah. just so it doesn't go all over my table mm -hmm. and this wipes up quite nicely provided you don't let it dry okay mm -hmm. Right, Lily, what colour would you like to do? Same um, again? I'm going to try this one. I'm going to try um, red and blue. Pink. Red and blue? Yeah. Because both of them seemed a bit more... Like, right, come on then. It doesn't matter which straw, any straw, as so long as you put the straw that's coloured in, or just get a new straw. We've got plenty. Yeah, a new straw. I don't like that one. Mm. It's going to make a big, giant bubble. Is that keep going? So yeah, nice, cheap and cost-effective activity to do with the kids. Gets them engaged in crafts. And some of these I will likely fold up and put into my mermaid journal that I made because wouldn't that look super with a mermaid journal? Keep going, we'll have a bit more blue. If you can hear Choblin, it's Douglas chewing on his cheese block. He likes his cheese. It's not actual cheese, it's a dog treat, but tastes like cheese. Mm -hmm. There we go. Do you want to do some red on there, or do you want to do red on the other side? Do red on there. On this side? Yeah. 
because I get really gone back to bed. Some of the bubbles might go a bit purple, mightn't they? I'll try and get some big ones. So just for context, my eldest is nearly 12. Yep. And the youngest is nearly six. Looks quite pretty. See, I think the little ones look nicer, personally. Each to their own. Keep going. I'm just using normal copy paper here, but I have got some card I want to do as well in a minute. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. A little bit more. A little bit more on that side. As I said, this would work well with um, paints. Generally, acrylic paint is better, but if you've got a thicker watercolour, um, that will work as well. That then, is really, really pretty. And then on the other side, I want to do um, green and yellow. Green and yellow. Because, of course, it'll, I'd come back because it's like spring colours and that. We'll have to see what the yellow does. I might have to put more ink in it. Yeah, because we haven't tried the yellow yet. Nobody's tried the yellow yet. Chucking it all over the place. Go on then. Yeah. Try the yellow first. Because it's a lot lighter. Yeah, it's quite pale, but you can still see them. Yeah, but I think. I don't think it'll get much darker if you put more ink in, but I can. Like, it, it can get a little bit darker. Because that, I can barely see it. I mean, I've got glasses and they're really crappy, but still. I see gloves then. Mm, this is why I wear the gloves, guys, because, as you know, my hands are always filthy. Ruby, yep. do you think you can get a couple more wipes out for me out of the... They should be in there somewhere. Oh, it's okay. There's some here. I found some. There you go. If you keep blowing, I'll just keep. Oh my god! I think that's enough for the yellow. Cause... A bit more of that bit. Happy? Yeah, I'm going to green. And I like these takeaway tubs because I can put the lids on and they'll last for a, a few weeks then. Lots of big ones. Ooh, we even got some on that side. Mm -hmm. Keep going then. I'll try and get round the edges this time now, I think. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that looks good. See what I was aiming for with the... Yes, I do. Now you've dripped it all down my arm. Okay. <laughs> all right, can Mama have a go now? Yeah? I think I'm going to do some autumn coloured ones and I'm going to do some cardstock. If I can grab just a little piece. I've got a spare piece of cardstock here. Got a bit green on it, you did. Mm, that's fine. As I said, autumny colours, so green is included. Look at that. Oh. 
So this is a mixture of coffee and a little bit of distress oxide just to brighten it up a little. Because coffee ain't going to look like anything. Try a bit of orange now. There's wipes there if you want to wipe your hands. Coming out more brown, I think. I might be better off with um, red and the... Yeah, red and yellow would look better because it's not really orange leaves, is it? It's red leaves and brown leaves. I think it looks a bit pinky, though. That's the problem. Yeah. I could try putting the... Red and the orange together. Try some yellow. Because the yellow would look more orangey, I think. Because mine is looking pretty good. It'll come out a little bit more pigmented on the card. Give it, give it. There we go, I'm happy with that one. Right, whose turn is it now? Ru's turn. Right, Ru, what colours do you want? Both sides or just this side? Um, on both sides. Okay, blow a few more then. Oh. <laughs> Giant one. There we go, start doing the brown then. And I think that looks lovely. Right. You coming to have another go? Yep. What colour do you want? Colours. Um, the blue and yellow. I think that would look cool. Mm. 
We're all very much looking forward to camp, aren't we, girls? Mm -hmm. Right, off we go then. So we're only about three weeks away now, so exciting. Okay, well, put put that one out of the way so we don't use that one again. All right, onto the blue. The other plus side to doing this, that's enough. The other plus side to doing this is that it keeps the kids quiet for five minutes, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Which is very hard to do with me. Right. Lovely. So we've got ourselves a few. I might try. This was a really cheap um, copy paper that I thought I'd give a go just for tea dyeing and things. And it has a sort of grey texture to it. Okay, a grey colour to it. Lovely jubbly. Right, well, that's it for today, guys. The girls, I'm sure, will carry on doing their bits and bobs. Is there anything you'd like to say to all my subscribers? No? Be nice or else. <laughs> all of my subscribers are nice. Is there anything you'd like to say? No? Okay. Right, brightest blessings, everybody, and a massive thank you to everybody. I do want to say a big thank you to Melinda marissa and julia for sending me super thanks tips big help as always so hopefully i will be filming again in the next couple of days and i'll speak to you then blessings